Hello everybody! This is going to be probably a very terrible unboxing of an ARC, an advanced reader's copy of Let the Right One In by John Alvita Lindquist, as published by Suntup Press. I want to give a very special thanks to Paul at Suntup for his generosity in providing this ARC and for Chris at the Suntup Facebook group for holding the contest in which this was won. Uh, this arrived today and I am beyond thrilled. Uh, they had mentioned in the post that this one, as I open it here, I got a little tab on it, that this one is a red covered arc, which is rare compared to, oh, look at that, the normal arc that we're going to have for the title. So we have the advanced reader copy for John Alvia Linquist. Let the right one in. And there are still copies available of the signed artist edition. It's signed by Bud Cook, who did the illustrations in this. Oh, look at this. I don't even want to open it. Yeah, there it is, the artist gift edition. Uh, there were 241 copies available right before I checked on this video. But God, that is beautiful. Uh, Paul was saying on the online on the forums that people had noticed this combination on the Rubik's Cube or Speed Cube is not actually solvable. They went to great detail to design that. Oh, all right. Well, let's bust the shrink wrap open on these. So beautiful, and it's heavy too. It's this is the, the largest book that Suntup Suntup Editions has published, at almost six hundred pages, and it features oh there we go one of Bud Cook's illustrations, it features a new introduction by John Alvita Linquist. In addition to the novel, it also has two short stories, which is kind of the follow up and the end of a trilogy in a way for the story of Oscar and Eli. I don't want to show too many of the illustrations because they're not all online, but it's Oscar, Eli, and he's doing the Morse code to talk through the wall. Uh, I actually just finished reading the book. It is such a phenomenal read. I had seen the films years ago. There's the original Swedish, Let the Right One In, and then the Americanized version called Let Me In. But if you haven't read it, it is a incredibly powerful story of a boy and his vampire neighbor in the 1980s. And I would highly recommend it. And if you haven't already, I would recommend going to suntup.press and picking up a copy of the signed artist edition, signed by Bud Cook, so you can actually hold this in your hands as well. That one will have a dust jacket and a paper slipcase. Oh, this is going to be a treasure. Well, thank you very much, and I said be sure to check out suntup.press, and thank you again, Paul and Chris. Farewell.